Welcome back everyone, my name is Tatiana, also known as your Awkward Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can change the colors of your outfit in animes to any color that you want uh, using a photo program. I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can use anything. I just use Photoshop because it's just what I have had for a long time, but you can use anything. There's a ton of free options. I know some people will mention more down below that I've missed because there's so many nowadays. I don't even know of all of them because I just be using what I'm used to, which is Photoshop. So anyway, we're gonna jump in to animes first and I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Probably won't have much of a camera at first and then we'll jump into uh, Photoshop and whatever. And we'll see how you guys can get cool, cooler fits and different colored fits. Um, and let's just jump into it. We are in animes. What we are gonna do is you're gonna click over here where you select your avatar, which is just, I think it's a little fox or something. You just click up there. What you're gonna do is click on whatever avatar it is that you're currently using. So this is the one I'm using right now. And it's gonna basically show you all the different textures um, that go into making your avatar, like your skin color and things like that. I've adjusted quite a few of these. So the hair color has been changed to be darker. I believe my eyebrows are darker. The lipstick I've changed on my face because uh, this is not a type of lipstick they offered and this was the color I wanted a lot of things that you can do these are basically just images um, that pop up and you can go ahead and throw them into a program uh, a photo program like Photoshop or GIMP or any of the other mode there's another one search with a C all of them are free so what we're gonna look for is down here you're gonna look for whatever your outfit is uh, mine says wolf 3d outfit top so what we're gonna do is press set texture and for you this will pop up in a different place than for me because I've moved these folders and made sure everything was in one folder so all of the textures were in one folder so I could find them easier but if you press this it should just take you directly to wherever your avatar folder is that big one you downloaded that's where all of your textures and stuff are. So just keep that in mind uh, that it may be different. So wherever that is on your computer, it should just open it right up. Um, so you can see I've kind of put all of these different faces. I have different lipsticks and stuff, all of this stuff, hair colors, all the hoodie colors, everything. Even my teeth, I actually slightly yellowed a little because they were so white. I thought it looked a little bit strange. Um, the glasses, I've changed my glasses, all the stuff you've changed. I've put in this one folder for myself, um, but you can again put this anywhere, but you'll probably only have whatever the default is in this folder. Like you're probably gonna have one face, one hair mesh, one, um, sorry, one face picture, one hair, you'll have one hoodie or whatever outfit you're wearing, one teeth, one glasses. It'll, it won't look like the way this one looks, um, like what I've made it, but this is where you basically go to find this. Now you can take note of where this is in your computer right now, because you're gonna basically just drop and drag this into whatever photo program that you use um, so that we can alter it. So for me, the default um, for this specific outfit I'm wearing, this is the hoodie, this is the uh, sweater. So the default is actually the white sweater. That was the default color, which I really liked, but I eventually just wanted to shake it up. So we're gonna work from this one today, but just make sure that this is, this basically opening this is where you'll always find your textures and eventually make sure you put the new ones that you make into here so you can just easily select them like right now if I want to be changing it back to the default I can just press open and there we go now I'm wearing my white shirt and we can go ahead and do that with any of the ones that I've made and now I can just change my outfits pretty quickly um, which is really awesome. So we'll basically be jumping into changing them right now in Photoshop, so, or whatever program you use. So open your program right now, drag and drop that photo in, and we'll meet back in the program. So here we are. Uh, I have dragged over the image into Photoshop and I just let it make the canvas. I didn't even make a file size. I just want the canvas to be exactly what the image is so that everything is exactly the same. The only thing I'm changing are the colors. I want everything to be as simple and quick as possible when I do this. But something I do want to mention because all of you may not be doing this exact outfit. You guys might be doing something that's, you know, got a little more pizzazz, got a little more flavor. It's got more items on it. For example, you can see how right now I have a necklace on but you don't see the necklace inside of this image um, I think that's because the necklace possibly is a separate item and is not baked into basically this image whereas with the hoodie I'll show you right now my hoodies so this is the I'm just dragging and dropping this was the original hoodie um, you guys if you've seen my other videos I also alternate between like a chill regular hoodie because I wear hoodies all the time but with the hoodie there's actually the um, like basically the ties that you can pull and it tightens your hoodie. Um, basically those are included inside of the image. So when I completely colored it, like I just made a color over top, 
it looked very strange when I put it on the avatar. So anything that needs to be cut out like this, you'll kind of figure it out because you might make a mistake the first time and realize, oh, I actually should cut this piece out. Um, I basically copied this. So every single copy I have, I'll pull another one up that I've made. Um, basically make sure those are cut out as well as you can see here like to the best of my ability I made sure they were cut out to make sure that all the hoodies looked consistent and that those ties didn't get colored in with the hoodie because they looked very strange they weren't obviously designed to look that way on the model and it looked really weird you could tell that I probably just colored it over and didn't like cut out the parts that need to be cut out so depending on the complexity of the outfit that you're trying to change the color of um, this could be something you run into obviously the ties wasn't very severe it was just these weird little pieces that needed to stay grayed out basically so just in case yours because um, I don't think everyone's doing obviously the turtleneck I'm using right now now. Um, if you are, then this one's verbatim what you have to do. But if you have something a little more complex, just keep that in mind. It might be a little more steps that you'll have to take um, to basically make sure those pieces are cut out. But you can usually tell when you look at it, like with the hoodie, what needs to be cut out and what doesn't really belong with the texture of the outfit. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and start uh, coloring things. This is the the file that I've saved that I do actually color things on like this is the purple hoodie and I started actually just making more on top of it um, so what we are gonna do is we're just actually gonna throw these um, away so I don't confuse you guys I'm gonna throw these into a folder so you guys don't even have to think about that okay so we only have what I have going on here so what I have done and this might be this is the easiest thing I've done we're gonna go over here um, and we're gonna grab a box just that we're gonna fill with a color. So we're just gonna put the box right over top. It'll make a new layer, boom, like this. Okay, so what color should we have this? Let's make this, I don't know. I, I have all kinds of colored hoodies. We're just gonna make like, I don't know, some kind of, some. we'll just make some kind of blue purpley hoodie or something, I don't know, or this. We'll make this, we'll make this kind of color, okay? This kind of color hoodie, cause this will be really easy for you guys to see. So here we go. Now we have this is going to be the color of the hoodie, but one, it's not transparent because, you know, there's all this texture inside of this, for example, the sweater I'm wearing. You can see the texture still. We don't want to block these textures out. It will look very strange. So the first thing that I've done is go over to where it says normal here. And this is basically just um, every program I've seen has this. It's just in a different spot. Um, you can change it to like multiply, color burn, stuff like that where you can see through. I change it to, I believe it's color down here. Uh, because it gets to see through pretty well and I've noticed it translates no changing the opacity just color for now We're gonna now um, Start cutting this so Basically because we can see um, The original underneath we can see where we have to cut out the skin parts um, that aren't a part of the actual clothing um, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is click on this new layer that you've made and in Photoshop I use the I believe it's called the lasso tool yeah so it's actually the polygonal lasso tool <laughs> bro I just call it the lasso tool I don't even know all the names anymore so we're gonna go ahead and use the polygonal lasso tool it basically just cuts things out so we're just gonna like zoom on in here and we're gonna go ahead and basically start up at the corner it's just like a click inside of Photoshop. It's just a bunch of little clicks to try your best to like go around um, the shape outline where the skin and the hoodie or clothing material matches. Um, you also would be doing this for uh, parts where there, there would be hoodie ties or like if there's, I don't know, maybe straps or something that is baked into the image. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and click away double click and now it's basically selected this because this is now selected that's why the dotted line is kind of like that with the white and black it's showing that just the area inside of what you've outlined is selected in Photoshop you do have to right click on the layer that we may have this that we're trying to cut and rasterize the layer and I'm gonna press the delete and cut that out and then you can click away and it's done now mine's kind of rough because I wasn't trying to be very clean with it because I'm just trying to show you guys real quick but just take your time you can even zoom in even more like to make sure that you're getting it just right essentially and then we're just gonna go ahead and zoom in again here I'll zoom in even more this time and then we're gonna go ahead and just you know do the same cutouts it's just clicking there's no other buttons at least in Photoshop to do this most programs have this so you should be able to do this 
relatively easily. Um, you can also do this with the erase tool if you don't have, for some reason, you don't see a cutout tool in the free software that you have. Most have it though, but just in case, you can use the erase, the eraser. I have done that before. It's not as clean, but sometimes it's not as noticeable. It just depends on maybe the outfit that you have um, and, you know, what's what you want it to look like basically right or if you think it's not too noticeable you might leave it i know in some of my first hoodies i did use the eraser and i think i ended up changing it later just because i realized i had a better way that i could do it so we'll double click it's now selected because we've rasterized the layer before we don't have to do it again so go ahead and press delete and boom that is done oh we'll just click away from that and there we go so now basically this is done and what I'm going to do is go ahead and export it. I export them as PNGs. I, don't, I just do, that's what I, I don't know. It's what I do. I'm pretty sure they can be JPEGs if you want, but I think all the images come as PNGs if I remember correctly. So I just did what they already were and saved everything as a PNG. So that's what we're going to do. File export and then I just do quick export as PNG, but you can do export as and change all your settings as you wish. I make sure I save it in the same folder that I have everything for my avatar saved in because I find, like I showed you, it's easier and you can just keep clicking everything really quickly if you want to change your outfits or your colors for outfits. Do one thing, make sure you change the name. This is purple right now because that's the color uh, image that I last said. I'm just going to say teal. So there we go. And we're just going to save like that. Now we're gonna jump back into animes and go ahead and put this on our actual VSuit model. All right, we are back in animes. Now all we have to do is go ahead and click on that little fox avatar thing, open your avatars, click on the avatar you wanna change everything for. You can go ahead down to the clothing cause that's what we're changing. But again, you can do this with any of the textures. Um, we're gonna say set texture. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the brand new one I just made, open. And it is really bright. So <laughs> this is something that you might need to try. This is so bright right now. <laughs> it looks almost funny. So this is something you might need to troubleshoot is the colors might look a little too bright, a little too dark. I know I've had to do a couple over and just kind of mess with them, change them up. Um, and what you can do for that, it's very simple. I'll open the Photoshop again and I'll throw myself over here. And my new bright, <laughs> it's so, it's even, the green screen's even cutting it out a bit because of the reflection, but... Um, so definitely maybe don't go with colors this light unless you make it like a blue screen behind you The green screen sometimes if you go with greener type of colors, it will kind of mess it up So just be aware of that But what we can do with this because now we've rasterized it. We can't actually just change it. I just straight up paint bucket I straight up paint bucket tool this situation like I'll just you know Maybe if we do this, but maybe go a little darker there we go, paint bucket tool, you know, let's, we could even go with like a deeper, like something like that, I don't know. See, see how light it is? So it's so much lighter, so you have to be kind of like, uh, cause we chose a pretty dark, like, you know, so you gotta see, that's kind of cute maybe. So something like that, and then you would go ahead and change it and fix it in. So just keep that in mind. The colors can be strange when you change it to color. You guys can always do this a different way as well. This is just the way I've done it and just found it was the easiest way to do it. You can, again, do this any way you want. If you see the steps, you're like, wait, but I could use this tool or I could use this. Do that. Do what is most comfortable for you. I'm just showing you how I did it because some people were a little bit um, confused and having a hard time doing it on their own. And so, yeah, these come, these come out pretty bright pretty bright for me yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna change my fit back to the way it was before because <laughs> that is quite bright <laughs> that was quite bright i must say there you go now you know how to change up your outfit colors lots and lots of options this like basically gives you unlimited options because you make the model and if you're like oh that color wasn't available or this makeup wasn't available you could just add it yourself. You could just add it yourself, like literally coloring and stuff over top of those images and uh, you're good to go. And it can be free. It can still, the whole process can still be completely free, which is really awesome. So 
um yeah that's it just a quick little video hope you guys enjoyed hope it helped you out let me know what you want for the next anime's video i kind of have given you guys all the advice i can like i kind of this is just how it is for me all the videos i'm not sure what else we'll do in this series i think this was one of the last things um you guys asked for i really appreciate your support you guys are so nice and so encouraging and like i'm really glad that a lot of you have found the series helpful um to use vtube models um and there's a whole bunch you can you know a bunch of stuff maybe actually maybe one video we could talk about is their payment plans because they've changed those since I talked about it and I feel like some of you have asked me about it but I haven't really looked into it too much if I'm honest and I've, I've said this before when I did my biped stream that game I actually got for uh, a copy of it for free or two copies one for my brother one for myself um, which was so much fun we streamed it on this channel and it was actually part of a contest to get copies of biped and to also get animes um basically the paid version for a year but i don't know if it's still only going to be a year because they've changed their payment plans i don't know if it'll be indefinite now i haven't actually i haven't checked <laughs> i have to check those things but because their payment payment plans have changed i think we could talk about that um and like maybe the pros and cons of getting it if you want to go and upgrade because the payment plan i think now is like you pay once in a lifetime and the thing is if you're gonna really use it i think it might be worth it but maybe we'll talk about that in that video it's kind of like still your choice you can still do everything for free everything will work fine um there's just a couple other things you might get access to that you didn't have access to before so yeah something to consider um okay that's it that's it for me i think we're good i hope you guys have a great rest of your morning afternoon or night whatever time it is for you and uh thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel and i hope these this series helped you out and it helps you to start your content creation journey in a safe and uh helpful way i don't know anyway that's it for me remember to stay safe hug your loved ones and i'll see y'all next time bye